What's up, Orland family? This is Counselor Briggs. Uh, wanted to do this video. Um, it's a resource uh, in Ms. Hess's or in the Social Emotional Learning and Supports Google Classroom. If you have access to it, you can go there and check it out. Or if you don't, um, this is by Jesse Drew um, LLC, the website for her or his uh, website www.mygroupguide.com um, I'm going to post that link in the description as well as I'm going to try to find the link for this specific um, exercise or resource if you will um, this is called the uh, the emotional umbrella uh, resource so I think this is an important uh, thing or topic to discuss the reason is the emotional a lot of times when we are trying to describe how we're feeling about something or we're trying to process um, an emotion or a situation or something along those lines a lot of times we give um, when somebody says well how are you doing or you know how do you feel about this or whatnot um, a lot of times we'll say oh, I'm, I'm angry okay Angry is a really, really broad topic and description, and is very. It's it's a there's a lot to that. Um, it's not very specific. If I tell you, we'll use angry for example. If I tell you I'm angry, what does that tell you? Am I irritated, upset, frustrated? exacerbated what whatever the term you know what is it specifically uh, just saying that I'm angry doesn't give you a ton of uh, example or it doesn't give you a ton of um, information you know you I could angry is a whole wide broad spectrum of um, emotions and feelings that are covered under that one term now when we're young in like elementary school something along those lines we're taught what angry angry happy sad mean um, that's fine that's great but as we get older we need to learn new words to better articulate where we're at or who how we're feeling um, if we can't pinpoint how we're feeling we can't use specific words or um, fancy words or diction or lexicon um, but if you're not able to articulate exactly what you're feeling it makes it difficult for others to respond or comprehend how it is that you're feeling or what you're feeling um, so so this is the resource that miss Hess posted the anger umbrella emotion um, basically next time you are angry or you're upset about something ask yourself what am I really feeling and what is driving my anger because a lot of times we say I'm angry about something we could be scared about something and that creates anger we could be upset or sad that can create anger shame and embarrassment hurt and betrayal now um, for example fear a lot of people are not understanding what's going on with for example we'll use COVID-19 they're fearful of what is going on and what the future is going to look like and how are they supposed to handle what's currently going on they're feared they are experiencing fear, confusion, um, and that can be frustrating. These are all, you know, people say, I'm angry about COVID-19. Well, are you actually angry? Or, you know, is it, what is it that it's doing that's upsetting you? Are you angry because of the fear and the lack of information? Are you, um, you know, what, what is it that you're exactly feeling? Are you, um, are you irritated? Are you frustrated? Um, sadness is another one a lot of times people say I'm really angry that my friend left well are you angry that your friend left or that you're no longer friends with somebody are you upset that you've lost them are you sad that you lost them are you feeling um, betrayed that they're no longer your friend are you feeling or you know I'm really angry because so-and-so made fun of me or uh, made me made me look a fool in front of our friends are you feeling betrayed because they didn't try to build you up or are you uh, feeling hurt by that you know another one uh, 
that a lot of people do are shame, you know, feel shame or embarrassment about something, you know. Um, for example, during my internship, uh, I was trying to load my stuff into my truck, and I dropped my coffee cup. Uh, it was a metal coffee cup, and it rolled underneath my truck. So in my attempts to try to get my coffee cup so I don't run over it, or I didn't run over it, um, there was a, a bit of ice, and I slipped and fell and rolled, and this is in the parking lot on this grassy hill, I rolled about halfway under my truck. And I was upset, or I was kind of angry with myself, very briefly, because I kind of ended up laughing at myself, um, because I embarrassed myself in front of mm, about 100 high school students where I was doing my internship, and they were all loading onto the buses, and the entire bus erupted in laughter. Now, was I embarrassed? Yeah, was I feeling a little shameful that I had butterfingers and that I slipped and fell and rolled under my truck? Um, yeah, I was embarrassed and a little bit of shame that I'm I'm a klutz. But, you know, I at first I was angry. Oh, Malachi, how could you do such a thing? You, you idiot. But, you know, I had to sit and think, you know, am I embarrassed or am I feeling shame? Am I really angry? No, I was just a little embarrassed. You know, later on, Although it was really embarrassing, it's something that I was able to kind of laugh off. Um, I come from a long line of people that uh, are really clumsy and slip and fall a lot. We roll our ankles a lot trying to, heck, just walk on perfectly flat ground. You know, drop things, kick things over by mistake a lot. A lot of broken toes from kicking doors and stuff and door jams by accident. But... You know, it was kind of an embarrassment, an embarrassing time. And it wasn't necessarily that I was actually angry that something had happened. It was that I was a, a, a bit of a klutz. So it was just a little embarrassing. Um, and it took I had to take a brief moment to assess what am I really feeling? Am I really feeling upset or am I really feeling embarrassed? You know, and what was driving my anger? I was angry or upset that I had fallen in front of all these students that I was really trying to make a good impression on and um, was trying to act like a you know pro professional grown-up adult um, trying to you know trying to, to seem like I have my stuff together in reality I was just being a klutz and I, I was embarrassed by it so this is something that it's not angry is not the only um, emotion with this uh, that falls into this category. You know, some other emotions that kind of go along with that are sad, happy, joyful. Um, you know, will you sad now? Um, are you sad because you feel betrayed? Are you feeling? Um, are you uh, feeling alone? Are you feeling uh, uh, lost? Feeling helpless? You know, there are a lot of different things that fall under that. You know, I'm sad or I'm angry. Well. Let's go a couple levels deeper and try to identify exactly what it is that I really am feeling. Um, now, a lot of times those will, to, to kind of figure out how to best identify how we're feeling, you need to know what different words, you know, you need to be able to, you need to expand your vocabulary so that you can better identify what it is that you're feeling um, to more pinpoint what it is that you're you know, under this big I'm sad you need to be able to pinpoint what kind of sad are you or what is it that's making you sad and when you or or uh, ashamed or feeling lost helpless feeling you know, exp experiencing loss or whatever it is that helps you be able to better identify how to respond and it also helps people like myself this has other counselors and whatnot you know, if you go for professional counseling or something along those lines, it's very helpful to get to to get to the point, if you will, or to better articulate and express how it is that you're feeling and what you're experiencing so that you can better identify it and better respond to what it is that you're feeling. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, if you have any questions or are experiencing any of those things or feeling any of those things, feel free to reach out to myself, to Ms. Hess. Um, to your friends or family um, a lot of times with those big umbrella emotions and if you can get down to a little bit more of the root you know it helps to be able to talk those things out and talk through them and kind of 
logically sit down and work through each individual little thing. Uh, it helps a lot. So hopefully this helps. Catch you all later.